Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. I want to show you something quite interesting today, uh, and it's a technique that you might need to use in the query editor if you're getting data out of Excel. And what happens with Excel quite often, um, and, and by the way, what we're looking at here is some oil and gas uh, statistics, just data. I, I searched for it online, found it online, and we, we actually had a member-only workshop which went through how to build a report based on data like this. And so what I want to do is I want to do a bit of a breakout session here just to show you this one technique which I think is very valuable. Um, and basically what it is, is and, and you'll find this a lot with Excel data, is you will get data that has subtotals in it, right? You see, and you see, so you see here that, and this is very, very common in financial information as well. So you'll have a breakdown of the individual parts, and then you'll have the subtotal. And then you'll see here, you'll see that um, these are just basically counting up the share of the total. So we've got total North America, total South and Central America, so on and so forth. And that sort of aggregates up to the world down the bottom here, right? But in Power BI, this data is really suboptimal. Basically, what you want to do is you, you just want the underlying information, and then you can do the subtotals and the and the sort of aggregating within the model itself, okay? And so how do you do that? That's the tricky thing. It was, it was quite an interesting session where, obviously, we had to clean up this data quite a lot. Um, but one of the big things we needed to do was we needed to somehow create a table, like a like a, uh, well, a lookup table, which basically had the main countries here, right? But then next to them, we also needed to have the sub, the, the, like the category, like the regional, regional area, so that we could then um, know that each individual country was part of a particular area, okay? And so I'm going to jump to the model that we developed, and I'm going to show you how I did that. And it's it's quite it's actually not too difficult a technique, okay? And I'm just going to walk you through it because I've already done it. But this is really handy. This is this is a a really great idea if you need to create um, if you need to sort of denormalize your uh, your uh, your your tables in in any way. So instead of having um, so basically just enabling you to extract this data into a more uh, like uh, optimized lookup table to then filter filter this information. So this is so if you have a look just in here this is how messy the um, the original table was of this of that of that particular table. Then have have a look at what this table eventually became from the this from this, okay? So this particular table is based on I think uh, actually this is natural gas. I think I had uh, oil production barrels. I think it was this one here, oil production barrels. So what I did was I turned that table, this is this is inside of the query editor, into a table that looks like this, right? And you'll see here though, you'll see here, this regions column, right? There's no totals in here. There's no total America, total South America, Central America, total Europe, etc. It's just the countries. And then what I did though was I, 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 enabled, I created a table with the region, like the, the, the country, and then the regional area here. So those totals have now become a subcategory in this table. Now, how did I do that? How did I do that? Okay, that's the, that's the big thing here. That's what I want to show you. Okay, so what I did was I brought in that initial table. Okay, I'm just going to step you through all the steps I did. I removed all the um, columns over to the left hand side here because and this is an interesting technique as well i staged my query so the, so basically i created remember these are just queries i queried and then i just left it as a staging query and then i built on top of the staging query one i used that that query to create this and then i also used it to create this table here and so i um got rid of all the columns i didn't need i then filtered out the columns that i didn't like all the columns i knew just weren't part of um part of the analysis that I wanted to do and then I removed some bottom columns then I did this okay so you see here actually let's have a look at it what I did was I've got all of my main um, countries here but I've also got the total still embedded in this particular column so what I need to do is I need to extract just this value into another column and that's what I did was I created a conditional column. So you see up here, conditional column. 
and I'll just double click into what I did and I said if this particular column contains the word total because I knew that the sub the subcategories all had the word total then I want that particular column that value in that particular column to be in this particular to be just embedded into this this new this additional column we're creating okay then if it's not I want it to be null okay so then I went okay so then so with this I was able to extract this into another column and only this then what I did was I, I right clicked on this column and I used this feature called fill and I went fill up in this particular case okay and this is what happens when you go fill up you can go fill down as well and so I was able to populate that subtotal across all of the individual countries that it uh, that it that it was um, part of. Then I guess all we needed to do was we needed to filter out this particular subtotal column, right? And so that's what I did. I filtered it out, and so here's how I created that lookup table from that initial core table without the subtotals, and then all of this um, like aggregating up all of these subtotals can be generated within the model that we create right because this is now a table and this is a table and we can link this column here in our model this region column up to the oil regions column here because it's basically from the same same staging query right it's from the same original query so the the data the 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 um the regions are all going to be exactly the same and so you'll see when i when i just go okay here and you, we come down to the model that we created Oil, this re oil regions table is now a lookup table and it can look up this particular table here and so by doing that I was able to create a simple visualization which broke down all of those subcategories in a you know in a much more visual and appealing way rather than having to just look at it um, in that Excel data okay so that's that's all I want to show you this is this is a really good technique you will find that you can utilize this many many times over in many different situations and if I just you know highlight the enterprise DNA forum here for a little bit, this is honestly the main place where we I I, I see issues for for most users of Power BI is understanding how to optimize your tables and model to be able to you know simplify what you're doing inside of Power BI. So think about think about what this original think about what this original table look like right very hard in power bi to do anything interesting with this sort of table but you can turn it into something as simple and uh, intuitive as this where we have you know our breakdown of regions and you know a simple table like this which has all of the oil production by year and for the region and then when you model, model it you can you know really dive into you know various different aspects of your of your data very quickly Visually, this could be improved a lot, honestly. So, um, you know, it doesn't look it doesn't look as great as I, w I would have liked it. But you know, there's some some interesting interesting insights that we can, you know, we can generate from it already very quickly, much better than you know you could ever do in here. Okay, I'm going to round things off. Uh, thanks for listening in. Hopefully, you enjoyed learning about this one, uh, and um, you know, can start implementing a technique like this yourself uh, more often than probably you have done in the past. If you liked uh, this video and liked the content, really appreciate a like on it. Um, as always it's, it's great to great to get your feedback and uh, don't forget to subscribe to enterprise dna tv lots of lots of great content coming out to you okay all the best